Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification if you want to see more video. Welcome back everyone. Uh, today I am going to show you how Evan F2000 works. Okay, let's let's just jump into it. This is this is how the the model looks like. Okay, so plastic. Click and hide parts name and slow 50. Okay, so let's just get straight into firing mechanism. Okay, maybe we should uh, reload first. How it reloads. So when you reload, you push this magazine button, okay, magazine catch button. So you notice here, you notice here if you push it up, it will, this magazine catch will move to the, to the right position or left okay from this below it will be in the in the right position okay so so the magazine catch will move to the right because you can you can see from here I'm sorry okay from here you can see from here Maybe from here, more clearly from here. Oh, I'm wrong. Sorry, sir. Wait. Okay, from here. You can see here, it was cut into this, like, uh, half triangle. When you push up, when you push up, the magazine catch button it will push this magazine catch into the right or left if you are holding the rifle like this it will be in the left position okay so that's it okay that's how you reload so now let's let's fire it first this is very similar to uh, Steyr AUK and uh, P19, P90, okay, P90, the 5.7, FN P90, okay, very similar, maybe because it was FN made right yeah it's from fn okay so let's fire it first we are firing in single fire so as you can see from here you can see here okay so when you fire in single fire trigger trigger road you can see you can see the animation here is a little bit faulty like how it moves without touching oh my god okay so the the trigger road is pushing this primary sear back you can see here the primary sear is holding the hammer here so when you push it back far enough, it will disengage the hammer and it will fire. Well, you you will push this primary sear uh, far enough, but not not too far that the secondary sear 
will engage okay so in in it's very similar to even p90 uh, it's depend on how far this primary shear will move like in single fire it will move uh, like half like you can see here it's, uh, the primary shear move just half but in fallout you will see this pin hitting this side of the primary shear like if in single fire it's only half move only half well in full auto it will move all the way from the back to the front this primary shear pin okay so you, you you need to focus here okay so once again you pull a trigger it release it, it just need enough space to engage a single fire just like that the hammer is catched by the secondary sear into position and then when you release the trigger you release the trigger uh, it will it will move back into position into normal position the secondary sear will disengage and allow the primary shear to catch the hammer okay so you just do a single fire now in full auto i think even this selector is similar to fnp90 okay it's like if it works then don't fix it I, I think okay so now in full auto you see here you can see here from this position okay in this full auto you see here selector will not catch the trigger it will let the trigger go back all the way to allow full auto firing okay so that's it now let's try full auto you, you, if you watch this primary sear pin okay it like the, pri the primary sear will move like from the back to the front like watch you see very similar very similar you can see that right okay Okay. Even I think even this auto auto sear is similar to even P90. Okay, let's see. Full auto here. You hold you hold the trigger. It will continue firing. Okay. So automatic sear basically the bolt carrier will push this automatic sear to disconnect the hammer to allow full auto firing so that's how it works very simple let's let's see full auto in normal mode very nice wait 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 what the fuck i'm sorry what the heck I don't care, I can swear, no problem. We already in how much? Uh, nine minutes in, I can swear. Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, what did I say? Okay. I think it, 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 it didn't have a bolt, bolt catch. Am I wrong? Let's, let's reload yeah there's no bolt catch okay well that's shitty okay uh, back to what next okay uh, the the ejection mechanism this is this is uh maybe they think it's a breakthrough or something okay so 
let's see the fire mechanism uh, the ejection mechanism okay okay you can see here the firing you see here so the gas the gas piston is pushing this uh, the slide road rod rod okay whatever okay the slide road is connected to the bolt carrier okay so we're firing okay you are firing it's go back You see here this bolt alignment level was sitting on top of the barrel extension there let's go down okay so you see that this bolt alignment level lever So it's like a pusher it will push the shell in into the ejection ejection port like that okay so you see this again like switch okay so you're firing So the switch contour uh, is is a uh, click movement. Sh switch movement is following the bolt carrier here. You can see. So when you're firing the round, like so, this red switch plunger is pushing down the switch right switch plunger is pushing down the, the switch so the shell the k the case can go straight into the switch you can see you can try and see it from here like from here okay so it goes straight like that like that okay so you can see I click too much so you can see there okay you can see there the case go up by the switch okay into the eject ejector part and the bolt line lever is pushing it out so that's very simple so uh, let's, let's let's say it one more, one more time why I rotate okay I'm sorry okay so now let's see it in slow motion full auto okay you can see that Shall try a uh, restart and see. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, I thought the 
Oh, they already have this case inside. I thought it was empty, so we can click the ejection port cover, but we cannot. It's not the most realistic application out there. So please understand. Okay. Okay, so. This is a cover. So you open it to check malfunction or something or something like that if you want to and to clean it okay okay remove side now uh, Let's try the aim point. Now, uh, oh yeah, safety, safety, safety. Just like that. The safety was on the trigger. If uh, it, it, the safety was on the trigger, trigger uh, position like this selector is controlling the trigger in a, no a normal rifle the I think and like in M16 and the AK uh, the safety was uh, in the firing mechanism like the safety stop the sear while the in this F2000 the safety is stopping the movement of the trigger so yeah so yeah that's it I think so if you want to see x-ray just like this so x-ray too this is the this light the, the, the important part of the rifle so maybe x-ray 4 it's like what's important so as you can see here we can cut this down uh, uh, cut this down we can make it uh, less bulky like uh, cut this down cut this part down and then put in uh, like a uh, front grip something picatinny rail below they, they probably have it in the model yeah you can remove this handguard yeah you can see like too much plastic see this part this this, this entire stuff is plastic here plastic here like plastic gun Okay, so uh, I think that's it. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And if you want to give donation, you know, you can go to our Twitter and there is option there. If you are in Indonesia, you can give donation. Or if you're in other country, you can try uh, other way to give donation. So yeah check out our, our twitter if you want to give donation if you don't want to give donation there's no problem you can still watch our content yeah so thank you very much for watching uh, yeah thank you for watching everyone i will see you in the next video bye bye